another week, another God-forsaken Monday in this city. And I was actually late for the ice delivery this morning. I got in about 7.15 in the morning, and normally they don't come until like 8, 8.30, but today the guy came at 6.30, so they were waiting here for 45 minutes. I keep talking to this company, but they send a different driver every week, so it's kind of hard to figure out what's actually going on. Maybe, uh, you know, when I expand, I can get my own dry ice machine, but uh, logistically, I don't know how much that costs, what the maintenance is, if it's really worth it. Uh, so it's always something crazy on the street because it's pretty busy. Thankfully, people can drive around, but they don't know that. And the patience of these lunatics down here because their brains are getting fried by radiation all day is, uh, is, is at nothing, to say the least. People, people are crazy down here. I try, not to, I try not to talk to anyone. I try not to get into any driving interactions because, dude, if you cut someone off down here, like, I've had people get out of their car and start screaming at me, like, dude, I'm not, I'm not going to jail because you're going to be three seconds late for your daughter's softball game. Uh, we got a little bit behind on the foods orders because I had to make chocolate bars and uh, I had to make some more water kefir. So I need to catch up on that real quick uh, before my guys get in uh, to help me out. So got some orders ready to go here for the postal service. Ice just came in. And these are the orders. I just got to throw some water kefir in. You guys can probably tell because I'm talking with a little bit of a lisp. I saw my retainers in because it's just never ending, guys. I, I try to like get as much sleep as physically possible. So I literally woke up, made the water kefir, drove down here, and I still I should have got up a little bit earlier. But what are you gonna do? Maybe I can hopefully move somewhere closer in the next few months, or ideally get the hell out of here. But we'll see. Uh, so I'm gonna get to work for a couple hours, and uh, hopefully everyone shows up today that's supposed to. Then maybe I can vlog. Otherwise. We'll speak on the lunch break. There we go, that's about everything. Don't usually have to do this many orders in a week, but we got a little busy and we were backed up, so nice stack for the postal service. Now, since I haven't been sleeping that well this week, you know, my body hasn't really had that much time to recover from the physical labor. So my right hand's been really messed up, like my thumb, like I don't really want to use it that much. My lower back was hurting a little bit, but that's never an issue. Usually I just get lower back pain when I have to move like a thousand 90 pound boxes in a day. So I do have a couple guys helping me today and I can't really afford to payroll all of them full time just because I don't make that much money with the business. Although it would be nice to just have everything run itself. I don't think it's really worth it at this point. Main issue is because most of these people want full time. Like, of course, I'd love to just have a couple guys down here for like two or three days a week. Uh, just to get the orders out Monday through Wednesday. Uh, I'll see if I can manage to do that. But that means today that, you know, I have some time to uh, set up the computer downstairs because Verizon installed the internet last week. And that's really, really important because we'll have, you know, five or six orders placed throughout the day that I can fill instead of having to print them out and come back in the next day and do them. So I'm going to get that computer set up today. Uh, just do a couple of things that I've been kind of pushing off and I can also get some stuff done for organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, all my other companies. Oh, the main, the main issue this week and, and the past few weeks is the ventilation between this building and my uh, neighbor's building is connected. So when I have like cod liver in here, when I have meat in here, when anything smells, this guy starts complaining because he sell, I think he sells mattresses and he's like, oh, the mattresses smell my cut like, and, and then now my, this fucking landlord is sending some guy down here every day without notice, like, stop cooking, stop cooking, stop cooking. And I was like, dude, hold on. I told him, listen, you gotta give me notice. You gotta let me know what's going on. I'm, I don't know. It, it's, just, it's just bullshit on top of bullshit on top of bullshit. Now I gotta worry about that. It smells, dude, there's a fucking McDonald's right next to you and you're complaining that, um, like, it's just, when will it end? It's always something, always something. So, like, I can't run the fucking business. Like, what am I supposed to do? I wonder how pissed off they'll be if I buy a dehydrator and start making jerky in here. <laughs> I don't know. They think it fucking smells now. Yeah, you better, you better sell those mattresses while you can, buddy. Ridiculous. Speaking of sales, today is the last day we're going to have ground beef at this crazy, crazy low price on mine. Uh, but let me go do a little more work and I'll see you guys in a bit. So I basically have everything ready for the computer. I'm just missing 
uh, some power cords that are long enough and I need some double sided tape to get everything set up real nice. The phone, you know, we got a cheap mouse, keyboard, Rollo printer for the labels, everything all in maybe, you know, four or 500 bucks just to get the whole computer and everything running. I might be able to test it today, but this is a low LED, a low blue light monitor. And I was actually supposed to swap this one out for the one I have at my house and then put the, that one in here. So maybe we'll have this up and running this week after all the new cables come in and uh, then Frankie can lose his mind answering emails the entire day. The main thing that kills me down here is the Wi-Fi, the radiation, the EMF. And I need to eat something or something too because I'm just so fatigued. And then after being down here for five, six hours, it's just like my brain, my body is completely fried. So the main positive and the main thing I'm looking forward to in a new space that's hopefully far away from a city is just feeling good the entire day instead of like anxiety, stressed out, you know, brain and organ system under so much oxidative stress. And thankfully in this basement, it's cinder blocks and, and the Wi-Fi. I'm guessing is much lower. I have to test it, but, but there is a, uh, the power box right over here where I'm putting the office, which I mean, it's the only real option. I was going to try to get some lead paint or something and maybe even paint the whole building, but I'm not sure if I can find any, I could also take some like aluminum window screening and just start putting that up. But I want to see what happens if I get this loan before I start, you know, turning this place into a metal box. Uh, that being said, I think I'm going to stop by the hardware store just to get some more dollies so I can move stuff around easier. And I'm gonna to go to the bank just to have like a hundred bucks on me cause I'm out of cash, uh, which I never usually do on a Monday. But uh, since these guys are kind of doing their own thing upstairs, I get to just do a few nuanced things that I would normally do later in the week. Yeah, so I actually unplugged this because I wanna hook up directly to this, turn the Wi-Fi off, and then get my meter down and test this to see if I'm radiating myself before I just leave this thing on all day. I don't know if this desk is big enough or if I should just bring this one inside. That is a standing desk, although it's not that high for a standing desk, so whatever. So I stopped by the bank, got paid by my cute Spanish mommy, and I definitely need a girlfriend that speaks Spanish for, for multiple reasons, but I also went to the hardware store, picked up some dollies so I don't have to lug all this stuff around and I do have a couple of things I need to do, but I've been wanting to get a haircut for like two weeks now. And you know, all this stuff that needs to be done today has been handled. So I think I'll go do that and then I'll work a couple hours and then hopefully uh, we get out of here early so I can go home and fall asleep. <laughs> we do have picanha back in stock, three pound picanha pieces and some very nice picanha steaks. These are great guys, such a nice fat cap and they're tender. And uh, someone made a mistake at one of my meat vendors and we got sent Wagyu strip steak instead of regular strip steak. Or maybe they just were out of strip steak so they sent us this instead, but we have some very nice Tsujima grass-fed Wagyu steaks for you guys available now. And I would be lying if I'm saying that did not make my day last week. I was here on Friday and <laughs> when that came in, I was I was smiling like a kid in a candy shop. And then I started doing some math in my head and I was like, well, we should have got this much strip steak. So we didn't actually make any extra money, but it is nice to have uh, some Wagyu stuff available. You know, it is nice that I don't have to just do like eight, 10, 12 hours a day of monotonous stuff. Like it's all over the place. Like I get to cut some meat. I get to pack some stuff. I get to do this for Frankie's to arrange foods. I get to do this for organ supplements. So there is variety and that's, what really keeps me going because otherwise I get bored out of my mind. So I'll see you guys with uh, half my hair gone. No, we're just going to get, we're just going to get a little cleaned up on the sides. So that's all I want. Well, we got the hair trimmed a little bit and I definitely need a Spanish girlfriend because <laughs> these Dominican barbers like give <laughs> the same haircut every single time. And I don't like it when they mess with the, the hairline at all, but it looks pretty good. I basically just had the size and back cleaned up. So I'll be good for another two or three weeks. And I got back at like 1130 and my guys finished almost all the orders really quickly, but I forgot I had about 30 more orders to do. So we got maybe three pallets of boxes here right now. 
a couple right here, and then just maybe 30 more in here to do. So it's a pretty good week. The only issue is meat prices are sky high. New York strip steak has actually like literally doubled in price over the past few months. So I'm really banking on getting that slaughterhouse soon, but you know, I'm adapting. You know, there's a lot of off cuts of meat that are still very, very affordable. You know, not everyone wants to buy a $20 pound ribeye when I can offer you guys stuff like top round, eye round sirloin steaks for like five, six, seven dollars a pound, which is kind of crazy cheap considering. I mentioned we're doing the ground beef sale earlier. <laughs> scratch that because I'm going to run out of ground beef so uh, don't, don't order too much of it unless you want to order the, the five pound bulk packages which I think I still have some left but you guys literally bought all of the ground beef I had for sale this week we have the whey protein back in stock plenty of that for you guys most affordable 100% grass-fed whey protein online I was thinking of getting organic but I have to charge like twice as much best bars are all in stock for you guys the salts, we're actually running out of the salt, so I gotta make sure I don't oversell those. And then that's the rest of the nature's glucose. So depending on the honey season right now, I might run out of the nature's glucose for a couple months. I'm not really sure. Hopefully I don't. I do have access to like a 100% glucose powder uh, made from some type of fruit. I forgot what it was, but I'd have to buy like $20,000 worth of it and I cannot afford that right now. Uh, so hopefully the nature's glucose works out i think we might have some honeycomb available in the next few months I'm not really sure on that would you guys be interested in us selling honey that's just you know another another thing to add on my laundry list of stuff i could sell honey right now i would just have to design a label and put it in the jar but the organ grind should be back before the end of the month we should also be getting a very lean grind and if you guys do want leaner meat, we do have plenty of ground venison available. That is super, super, super affordable, guys. I'm selling five pound packages of ground venison at the price that most people are selling beef for online. So definitely check that out if you're interested. And as always, guys, let me know if, if there's ever anything wrong with your order. If I forgot something, just quick email. We'll sort everything out, whether we have to give you a refund or, or send the item out again. You know, I'm, I'm down here pretty much trying to figure everything out by myself and I'm losing my mind a little bit. Maybe if the, the EMF radiation wasn't so high, I'd uh, think straight. I think that's going to be it for today. Um, I'm actually excited. Uh, I get to finish up early. I have to go home. I have to just catch up on all of those things I didn't get to do over the weekend, uh, mainly pertaining to the other businesses, sourcing the materials, following up on orders. And more importantly, I have to go on my computer and place a meat order for this week because uh, I missed a couple of things. So as always, thank you guys uh, for supporting me. Uh, hopefully <laughs> in the next few months here, it really, really pays off and I'm in a position to get you guys even higher quality animal products. So please check out frank You can see the links to all of my companies and uh, drop a like on the video, leave me a comment. I don't know, I'm, I, don't, I might drop the subscriber and notification bell shtick because I think YouTube's taking it seriously and they're actually unsubscribing you guys even more. So <laughs> maybe they should uh, put on some boxer shorts instead of some panties. <laughs>